Hi, I'm Michael Rowley, and I'm going to show how Informatica Cloud's OData provider can be leveraged as an external data source in Salesforce. So I've got the setup page of my Salesforce org, and I go to this external data source section. On that, I've got two external data sources, one for information about parts, where the, that information is avail available from an on-premise application, and one for Workday for getting information from the Workday SaaS application. So if I go into the parts information, I can see that it's a fairly simple configuration. The most important part of it is that it has a server URL that refers to the Informatica cloud servers and the OData provider to a particular connection in Informatica cloud. That connection provides access to the part information. And similarly, if I go back to Workday, I can go and see um, information about the OData provider for the Workday connection. There are a few different operations that I'll show. One is getting information about the metadata, the objects and fields available for a data source. So if I do validate and sync, what this does is it goes to the Informatica Cloud and accesses the metadata, meaning the objects that are available from that data source. And you can select any subset of these and synchronize it. And when you synchronize it, you get back the data objects or the um, objects that can be made into external data objects. And so you can go into any of these and see its various fields and relationships. So if I go to something like uh, Workday, which is a SaaS application, that whole communication path is just from Salesforce to Informatica Cloud and Informatica Cloud through our Workday connector to Workday. By contrast, if I go to the parts database, then the request for met metadata there goes from Salesforce to our cloud servers, from our cloud servers to our secure agent through this secure channel that we have, and then from the agent to the on-premise app. So that's for accessing metadata. If I then have set up my external objects, I can put them into a tab or any, anything else within Salesforce um, that uses objects and have it seen in Salesforce as if it were um, Salesforce data. So I can here, I've gone here to this parts tab and I can see um, the first page of a listing of parts. And I, if I go to uh, an individual part, I get uh, more detail about that specific part. Both of the listing and the individual part page were requests that went on that same path that I mentioned from Salesforce to our cloud servers, to our, the secure agent, to the on-premise data source, and back again. So nothing is actually stored in Salesforce, even though it looks as if it were. So it's very simple to set up on the Salesforce end. On the um, Informatica cloud side, it's also very simple to set up. You create a new connection, and a connection uses one of the connectors that we have, and we've got connectors to a wide variety of systems. My little test system has only a, a dozen or so, but there are many more than that. Um, you set up, you give it the connectivity attributes that you need in order to, to access it, and you publish, and it's immediately available through the OData provider. So if you wanted to see some of the other uh, connectors we've got available, our website, the Informatica Cloud connectivity site, has all of our connectors. Thank you very much.